Finally, take a look at this. It may look like a photo, but this image has actually been created using maths. The London-based mathematician behind it uses equations combined with computer software to produce complex artwork. Rags Martel went to meet him to find out how it's done. Welcome to the art of equations, where numbers paint the picture. I describe it as creating images and artworks solely with mathematical equations. These images look realistic, but they're not drawn by hand. They're built from numbers. Even looking at those strawberries there, it looks so realistic, yet it's, that's derived from a formula. Yes. If you enter the formula on a program, it will give you exactly this image. OK, so here comes the maths lesson. If you could explain it to someone who doesn't understand any equations... Mm, yes. How would you do that? Every digital image is a set of pixels, and each pixel has a colour. And each colour is defined by three numbers. The red part, the blue part, and the green part. I use the mathematical formula to define each component of the color, the red part, the green part, and the blue part. Hamid started using equations as a paintbrush in his native Iran before coming here to study mathematics at University College London. And what's the reaction to your art? So I have received a lot of reactions <laughs> on social media. Some people are amazed by it and say, how do you do that? Some people say that, because they don't believe that, they say that I lie. <laughs> I think it's really unique. I think it's brilliant. My, even my children know about it. They found it independently and they asked me, is, do you know this kid? I said, yeah, sure, he's one of our students and they were really impressed. You think about maths, you don't often think about art. It's almost sometimes it's mathematical brain, art brain, but somehow you've found a middle ground where yes. art meets yes. maths. Yeah, so, some people say you use both sides of your brain, <laughs> the left side and the right side. And what are you going to do with it? Are you going to sell it? What's the next stage? I don't know yet. <laughs> Hamid says a website could soon be on the way, but for now he's happy with the magic of his maths. Thanks, Martel, ITV News. That's it from us.